Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the bank feed in QuickBooks Online. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about this for review in QuickBooks and excluded tab, what they mean, how they work in QuickBooks Online, and then how they impact your financial statements. So this first tab for review is essentially a, a holding area for the transactions that have um, been downloaded from your bank or credit card company. It's important to understand that while they're in this uh, um, holding area here, they don't show up anywhere else in QuickBooks Online, including your financial statements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, demonstrate this very quickly. This is a pizzeria, so I'm gonna change it to Meals and Entertainment. I'm gonna click on Add. Okay, so now if we click on this in QuickBooks tab, we can see that the transaction moved to the um, in QuickBooks tab. And importantly, when we look at our financial statements, when we update this, okay, so we can see that that transaction shows up in our financial statements now. So if we go back here to the for review tab, um, you can also see we have this excluded tab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exclude that transaction. Um, sometimes transactions will uh, double download, they'll duplicate for whatever reason, so you might need to exclude it. So I'm gonna check it, I'm gonna click exclude. Now it moved to this excluded tab. And importantly, while it's in this excluded tab, it doesn't show up anywhere else in QuickBooks Online, including the financial statements. So if we go back to the financial statements, we refresh. As you can see, it, it, changed, it stayed the same. We still have that one transaction. The excluded transaction doesn't show up in the financial statements. So if you want, what you can do is just really quickly, you can delete it if you want. I tend to just keep it in the excluded um, tab. It, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you happen to make an error and say charge the transaction um, to the wrong account or the wrong payee, whatever, all you need to do is click on undo and then it moves it back to this um, review tab and then um, you can change what you need to change. So I'll demonstrate that very quickly on the financial statements. As you can see, it now no longer shows up in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so I hope that um, this is useful. Now you now understand better what these three tabs mean. As always, if you need help with QuickBooks Online or your accounting, go ahead and send me an email. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.